Hi, and welcome to Elastic On. Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to present a topic, Elastic as a Monitor of Monitors at SAP. My name is Shay Martens. I'm a Principal Site Reliability Engineering Consultant at SAP. And we will be discussing the Monitor of Monitors and some technologies around Elastic that help us solve some very big problems. So again, the agenda, um, we're gonna have a brief overview of SAP and Global Cloud Services, which is the underpinning and foundation of cloud infrastructure at SAP. We're gonna talk about MOM, Octobus, and the Elastic Stack and how they work together. And we are going to talk about some use cases and the technology behind MOM. I work for SAP, and if you're not aware, um, it's an extremely large enterprise software company. In fact, it's the world's largest provider of enterprise software. Uh, we have a global network of customers, partners, and employees, uh, and thought leaders that help the world run better and improve people's lives. As you can see, with 102,400 employees, as of a uh, recent count, about the size of a small city, we have 22,000 partner companies, 27.34 billion in total revenue, 200 million cloud subscribers, a hundred plus innovation and development centers, which uh, as everyone knows in today's uh, world is dynamically and rapidly changing based on need and um, conditions. And again, we are the number one software company in the Dow Jones Sustainability Index for 14 years. So as you can imagine with the amount of employees, the amount of lines of business and solutions that we provide, um, there's a lot of complexity in bringing data together. <laughs> And SAP solves a lot of those problems for other companies um, through ERP software, human capital management, human experience management, um, and a, a lot of solutions that give enterprises insight into their data. And we're doing the same thing for ourselves, right? From the inside out, technical data that does not come from SAP systems is really what we're focused on here. We're focused on monitoring data from source tools, um, and other places that we really need to bring together. Back to SAP uh, as the intelligent enterprise, right? So GCS, Global Cloud Services, is the foundation layer. Um, network, compute, and storage, right? Make up the infrastructure, private cloud networks that we, that we run. Um, on top of that, we have our business technology platforms, our intelligent suites and industry clouds, which cater to um, our application layer. And industry specific solutions. And we have our customers and business network, of course. Um, and then encasing all that, we have experience management um, and um, user experience, which is at the top of our, uh, top of our forefront. So Global Cloud Services, the organization I'm a part of, um, we deliver seamless services for cloud infrastructure, lifecycle management, and cloud ops to all of our lines of business and customers. And we're employing a four plus one cloud strategy. Um, so we're taking an approach, we're investing heavily in our private cloud solutions because customers want and need that data security. And we're also investing into the four primary hyperscalers, AWS, GCP, Azure, and Alibaba. As you can imagine, as a truly global company, we have to be dynamic in our ability to meet customers' needs um, and we do that by employing a diverse set of cloud um, services, right? And we have to be able to do that across all the different providers. And our end goal <clears throat> is to deliver the superior user experience defined by stability, scalability, security, and end-to-end -end integration. Okay, so we talked about SAP, global cloud services, the immense size of SAP. What is mom and why? So Monitor of Monitors aggregates disparate source monitoring tools and standardizes the incoming events to build intelligent dashboards and extend alerting solutions. So basically we're taking all the disparate alerts from all our source monitoring tools and we're aggregating them, we're enriching them, and then we're extending that data into visualizations um, and to our engineers via alerting mechanisms. We achieve this through uh, serverless functions that do the transformations, the enrichments, and then convert everything to a common schema format, making that data um, inelastic 
easy to ingest, correlate, and extend. And the why I've kind of, I've kind of touched on, but everyone has a sea of tools. And when you're SAP, you have an ocean, a massive sea of tools. And MOM is an effort to consolidate those alert sources um, around the vast landscape of infrastructure and um, tools and platforms that we have. And this ultimately reduces complexity for troubleshooting and major incident management. And that's really where our focus on V1 is uh, placed on major incident management and alerts. So obviously we have events, um, metrics, time series data. We're working on that as well. But for V1, we said we need to take the actual configured alerts and we need to aggregate, correlate, and standardize those first. So we have a better understanding of how everything relates to each other. <clears throat> um, this enables engineering uh, to gain insight from multiple infrastructure and line of business monitoring alerts to effectively visualize and route alerts to engineers. And it gives leadership that cross-platform transparency into service state and availability that's really easy to consume. So again, we're, we're taking Elastic as the core, we're building around it um, and enabling some custom solutions to really enhance that functionality. So looking into um, a little workflow diagram here, this kind of explains how mom fits in the critical ops. We have all of our signals and alerts on the left-hand side. We're driving all of that into Octobus, which is another key term. Um, and we'll get into that in a minute, but briefly it is basically a framework um, to offer Elastic as a platform as a service. So when you see Octobus, that's what that means. Uh, one of our colleagues presented the Octobus solution on the EMEA Elastic On, you may have seen that, but if not, I'm sure I can be found. And again, we're, we're taking all the data here, alerts specifically, we're funneling them in and we're discover and gathering that data, enriching and correlating it for triage and response. On one end of the spectrum, we can push this data into ticketing and processing systems. And on the other end, we can push it into intelligent learning and response systems. Where do we meet in the middle? Major incident management. And that holistic process allows us to orchestrate our technical operations and engineering teams, um, drive resolution, prioritize activities, and then feed into the postmortem and RCA analysis. On the other spectrum of things, we have Mission Control Center, um, which handles global communications to our leadership teams, our board, and um, our field colleagues who need to know critical information extremely fast. All of this is real time. Um, all of our functions are set up in a microservice um, oriented architecture so we can make dynamic changes on the fly if needed um, to update and, and change and all of this reaches our engineers in near real time. So how does mom work with the elastic stack? We'll start working our way towards um, a better idea of how that works. But essentially elastic provides the core platform in which to build intelligent solutions. Uh, the open source nature and framework allows our SRE teams to develop meaningful visualizations and extend that data with speed and agility, keywords. So on the ingestion side, we use Logstash and Elasticsearch, which provide flexible options for our Kublish function framework, right? We can get the data into Elastic quickly and easily, or pool data for that matter. Um, Visualization-wise, Kibana and Canvas provide self-service and central visualizations and dashboard controls for engineers and, and uh, leadership. And then analyzing the data before it even hits the visualization layer is through the advanced modules that Elastic provides, such as ML and synthetics, which we're just starting to touch on. But the theme here is to connect modern technology with custom solutions. Octobus, again, as the Elastic platform as a service, serves as the foundation and core for monitor uh, monitors. And this combination actually won SAP's highest technology award, uh, award internally, the Hasso Plattner. Um, and we're extremely proud and humbled by that experience. Um, and it just shows that hard work, collaboration, um, and an agile mindset can get you um, to where you need to be. So looking at um, the solution approach with Octobus and Mom, uh, you can see on this kind of X, Y, uh, chassis here, you have all of your signals at the bottom feeding into Octobus and MOM and each layer up the stack, uh, ingestion, processing, enrichment, and 
data provisioning. Um, you're leveraging a different uh, function of Elastic and or Mom. Um, this enables our tech ops teams, right, through uh, Kibana and other visualization elements for dashboarding, analytics, and extending alerts. Um, data scientists can plug into APIs for advanced research and start exploring machine learning cases, which we're also doing. Um, and this provides, this stack as a whole provides GCS end-to-end -end monitoring um, and best practices and customer onboarding. So we've developed, you know, a service-based model where we can plug new source monitoring tools and new teams into Octobus and MOM uh, with the extensible API framework that Elastic affords and the microservice um, architecture that we built with, with MOM. So taking out a little bit deeper dive look, you can see how Elastic really builds the core of this. Uh, in the center, you have your classic Elk stack, Kibana, Elasticsearch, and Logstash. And then you have that surrounded by Octobus, which is running on a Kubernetes framework. And then Mom also running on a kubeless serverless framework, um, feeding and transforming data, right? So again, ingestion, processing, provisioning are the, the key elements here. And the various layers of Elastic enable us to do those three key things. So looking at the MOM architecture a little deeper and how it again relates to Elastic, you can see, um, well, first our, our core goals are to re reduce the Elastic processing overhead, right? We want Elastic to do what it's really good at and that's manage data. So by developing MOM independently, it allows us to quickly adapt and transform um, our enrichment layer to dynamically fit our environment, meaning, we can build and spin up our functions and microservices based on the very complex needs of the wide data utilization across SAP, um, all feeding that into our core foundational layer of Octobus and, and Elastic. Um, the MOM core is really built around different types of functions. We're looking at alerting and correlation functions. So we can actually take all the alert data that we enrich with similar functions um, that typically um, are made up of pool and subscription for your source tools. So we, we take the data, we enrich it, and then we extend it um, into the dashboards and into alerting mechanisms. And we can also build logic to correlate based on temporal information, uh, locational information, uh, service relationship information, all of these things uh, we can use to enrich our payloads and standardize the events coming in. And that allows us to build a really unified standardized uh, model with the dashboards in, in Kibana. And again, our focus now is alerts and signals. Um, while we also are looking at machine data, logs, metrics, time series, um, this is V1 around really unifying alerts and signals so we can react quickly to uh, major incidents. So with mom, we wanted everyone to be a part of the family, right? We wanted this to be a solution <clears throat> for SAP from employees to executives. And we achieved that by creating a common data and visualization platform that brings people together and connects them to the meaningful data. Um, this resulted in increased organizational transparency reduce fragmentation, having an actual single pane of glass um, is really hard to achieve. And we've, we've done it pretty successfully so far. And you know, thanks to Elastic and the integration and extensibility framework it affords us, we were able to plug and play and lower our overhead TCO and development efforts um, and focus those on the core logic that we really needed to, which was putting it into, into MOM. Right, so Elastic really enabled us to be able to do that. Um, for use cases, uh, central monitoring and intelligence, um, giving us that single pane of glass and the increased organizational transparency and awareness, again, really allowed us to focus um, on the right things. So key points uh, and review and next steps. 
Um, we wanted to leverage Elastic with custom solutions to create a really powerful platform, right? Just relying on one tool um, is usually not enough, right? And, and sometimes you have to build custom solutions to really withstand the complexities that your organization has. And there's a lot of other companies out there in similar situations. So when you're embarking down something like this, you really wanna understand your organizational needs and goals around telemetry, monitoring data, and the big picture. And once you've established that, um, you can start to hone in on what problem you wanna solve, right? So you have centralized and federated solutions, right? Centralized monitoring, federated monitoring by teams, and everyone wants to monitor their own stuff, which is absolutely, you know, critical in today's world. DevOps, um, Agile, and SRE enable teams to do that. But you need centralized monitoring too. You need to pull that data together somehow. You need to connect the dots between all the disparate monitoring and teams that are monitoring their own um, applications and infrastructure. So collaborate and reuse, connect the dots, and stay focused. Um, solve a problem within reach, which is what we did. We focused on the alerts first, and we're moving on to, as you'll see on the right-hand side, um, Octobus and Mom 2.0. Another critical thing is ensure self-service ability and configurations as code. Um, let DevOps and SRE teams perform at their best um, and give them the tools and opportunity to really create solutions quickly and extend them across the organization. So with the next steps, um, we're creating a streaming data platform for metrics and raw data storage, and that'll enable even more advanced machine learning and preventative um, alerting. We're pushing the limits of Elastic and gaining value through the native modules, <clears throat> through the security modules, through machine learning, synthetics, all the observability. We wanna extract the most value out of the native solutions that we can. And then we wanna bring in technologies to fill the gaps. Right, so MOM is our is our core alongside Elastic. Focus on building those two, and then bringing in some smaller technologies to fill the gaps. And at the end of the day, our goal is to create you know this true streaming data ELT solution um, for all monitoring data types. And with that, uh, we conclude the Monitor of Monitors presentation built around Elastic. Um, thank you for joining us today. And as always, please reach out to me. Uh, email, phone, LinkedIn. Um, I would be happy to connect and answer any other questions. Thank you again.